So this uh, picture explains the notion of orthogonality for Latin squares. And so on the left we've got a Latin square called L. Uh, you can check it's Latin. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, so there's no repeats in any row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, no repeats in any column, so that is a Latin square. Similarly over here this uh, M is a Latin square. And uh, there's this definition of what it means for two squares, to, two Latin squares, to be orthogonal. So uh, to uh, to see that, we have to uh, merge the two uh, the two Latin squares together like this. Okay. So now we've got a, uh, a four by four array, and in each case, you know, you've got the the left hand number for, uh, written shown in red that came from L, and the right hand number in blue came from M. Okay. So uh, so we've got. Uh, uh, four, we've got all these uh, combinations here, um, 1, 1, uh, 1, 4, and then so on. And the point is that uh, every possible combination occurs exactly once. So to see that, it's uh, easiest to go over this little square over here. Okay, so this has kind of obviously got all possible combinations, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, etc. All listed in the obvious order. And the claim is that all these combinations, they, um, well, they appear in... in uh, more random order over in L star M, but they do all appear exactly once as we see here. So the, here we've highlighted 1, 1, and that just occurs precisely once there. And 1, 2 appears precisely once, and 1, 3, and 1, 4, and uh, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4. All possible combinations occur precisely once in L star M. And that, by definition, that's what it means for L and M to be orthogonal, that when we merge L and M to form L star M, that in L star M every possible combination should occur precisely once.